It's the moment we all dread. That time when you look around the room and realize you're the oldest guy there. The people those youngsters are talking about aren't just non-celebrities to you, they're deeply uninteresting. You've started to appreciate that your parents were right about a lot of things. Your kids talk back to you, and they find your retorts kind of lame. Your middle age. If you're a human, middle age dread is best fought by renewing one's commitment to not giving a damn. But when a car gets paunchy after three or four years in the market, the only answer is the mid-cycle refresh. And the second generation Ford Fusion, now age 4, 52 in car years, has gone under the surgeon's knife for 2017. Look at it. It seems somewhat younger, doesn't it? You know, like Meg Ryan after a skin peel. It's tough to remember all the way back to the 2012 Detroit Auto Show when the current Fusion made its debut. Built upon Ford's CD4 architecture, the second Fusion had a sleek fast back shape that replaced the dowdy first Fusion. Its face was very Aston Martin looking, which was ironic because Ford's divestment of that brand was still fresh in many minds. But the CD4 Fusion was an enormous hit. During 2015 Ford pushed out 255,143 of them making it the company's best-selling car and the sixth best-selling car from any manufacturer. The big goal for Ford on this refresh is, don't, screw, it, up. And it hasn't. Most of the substance from the 2013 Fusion returns intact for 2017. The basic body shell hasn't been touched and most of the interior pieces are more or less familiar. The superficial changes include a tweaked grille with different textures depending on trim, new LED headlights on higher line models, and of course new wheels. Inside the forward storage bin has taller signs to hold things in more securely, the center armrest is a bit longer, and the driver's dead pedal has been reshaped. There's nothing radical in all that. One prominent functional change is the move from a conventional shifter to a Jaguar-like rotary dial. This new dial sits directly in front of the electronic parking brake on the center console where the old shifter once sat. The new dial works fine, but its position in center console is a compromise. In cars and trucks where such a shifter is native, in particular Chrysler products, the dial is often positioned up on the dash so that the real estate between the seats can be freed up for additional storage. The assumption here is that the rotary shifter will be part of a lot of future Fords and will be positioned more advantageously in those products. That in mind, the new shifter did open up enough space in the console for larger cup holders. And that's an important consideration in a world where the bladder buster cups we all use demand accommodation. So bravo for it. Bravo. The names of the various trim levels have been reimagined for the 2017 Fusion 2. The base model is still the S powered by the lackluster 2.5 liter naturally aspirated 4 rated at 175 horsepower. Expect to see this trim Fusion mostly wearing municipal seals on its doors and running errands for low-level bureaucrats. The SE will be the mainstream model and available with either the 2.54 or Ford's EcoBoost 1.5-liter or 2.0-liter turbo fours. The sort of luxurious titanium gets the 245-horsepower 2.0-liter turbo four standard. And the Ritzy Platinum is the titanium model with more stuff stuffed in. All these models use a standard 6-speed automatic transmission driving the front wheels, 